Mom refuses to believe her teenage daughter is pregnant and the doctor's response is brilliant. Every parent hopes that their children will always be honest with them. They hope their children will be able to come to them if they're having any serious problems in their lives. For a while, children do go to their parents first when they have a problem. Unfortunately, when a child becomes a teenager, they suddenly no longer want their parents' help. Instead, they would rather talk to their friends. When there's something serious going on in their lives, that doesn't mean that the parents are doing a bad job. That's just part of life. Most parents know that their children are not. Perfect angels, they know that teenagers try to see what they can get away with. Many teenagers who do something wrong will tell their friends about it rather than telling their parents in fear that they will get into trouble. There are some relatively clueless parents who don't catch their teenage children doing anything wrong, so they assume that their children are perfect. This is just being naive, but this is how some parents think, even though they are always wrong. Here's the story of when one mom refused to believe that her teenage daughter was pregnant. But the doctor's response is brilliant. Mrs. Jones took her daughter to see the doctor she'd been feeling and looking different for several weeks, and her mother just couldn't figure out what was wrong with her. But when they got into the examination room, the doctor asked Mrs. Jones why she and her daughter Mandy were in the office that day. Mrs. Jones responded well, Mandy has been craving strange foods. She has also been putting on weight and getting sick almost every morning. Well immediately, the doctor knew what was going on and he couldn't figure out why Mrs. Jones didn't see it as well. Rather than telling Mrs. Jones his suspicions immediately, though he gave Mandy. On exam he wanted to be sure that she was pregnant before he broke this kind of news to his patient and her mother. After the exam, he told Mandy that she was pregnant. He guessed that she was about four months along when he gave them the news. Though Mrs. Jones refused to believe it, she told the doctor that her daughter had never been alone with a boy in her entire life. She also explained that Mandy had never even kissed a boy rather than letting the doctor speak, Mrs. Jones turned demanding she asked her daughter if she had ever been alone. The boy Mandy immediately said no. She then asked her daughter if she had ever kissed a boy. Mandy denied that as well, the doctor stood there staring at Mandy and her mother. He couldn't believe a woman who had given birth at least once in her life, would miss or ignore these kind of symptoms. Mrs. Jones was in complete denial and refused to believe that her innocent teenage daughter would have anything to do with the boy. She was 100% sure that her perfect little angel was a virgin. Well, the doctor stared at the mother and daughter in disbelief. Next, he walked over to the window and just stood there for a moment, about five minutes passed, and the doctor was still staring out the window. Finally, Mrs. Jones asked the doctor what was wrong. She couldn't understand why he was staring out the window silently. She was worried that something was wrong with her daughter and that there was something that the doctor just wasn't telling them. Finally, he looked at Mrs. Jones and said there's nothing wrong last time something like this happened. Star appeared in the east and three wise men came over the hill, and I'll be darned if I'm going to miss it this time. The doctor, of course, was referring to the night that the Virgin Mary gave birth to Christ. It took Mrs. Jones a second, but she finally realized what the doctor was saying. She realized that yeah, her daughter had been alone with a boy. She had kissed a boy, and she definitely had had sex with a boy. Mrs. Jones knew her daughter did not have an immaculate conception. She was not carrying the second coming. She looked at her daughter and she finally realized that she was not. A perfect little angel, she pretended to be. It was a hard blow when Mrs. Jones realized that her relationship with her daughter wasn't what she thought it was either. This is a great lesson for parents of teenagers who think that their children tell them everything and that they would never do anything wrong. Teenagers are sneaky. They keep their secrets and the people that they want to talk to are their friends, not you, the parent. It is possible for a parent and their teenager to have a good relationship, but the parents will never know everything that's going on. Parents who think that they will are just being naive and are setting themselves up for some very big future disappointments. What did you do as a teenager that your parents never found out? Tell us at the comments and subscribe for more.